Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And what I got for you today is, actually this should be really neat. This is the Sunly Alpha. It's a, another selfie drone and it comes in a nice carrying case like this. Let's pop open the carrying case and see what we got inside here. Popping it open, you see that the quadcopter comes, you get the quadcopter, and you get two batteries, and you get a set of um, blade protectors for the quadcopter. Now let's look at the quadcopter first off, and also one of its batteries. The battery gets inserted in the back. Now, before I do, again, this is a, it's actually it's not a 7.4, it's a 7.6 volt battery, I believe. Let me turn it around and see the information on it. 7.6 volt, 2,000 milliamp hour battery. Now, this battery is supposed to give this little quadcopter 20 minutes of flight time. Um, and I had been flying this yesterday, and I did get close to 20 minutes. However, um, it's not 20 minutes of nonstop flight time. At least not for me, it isn't. Um, I live out here in the desert where it's about 85 degrees, 80 degrees. And when I was flying this, after about 8 minutes of flight time, it would start to get hot. I, I got a warning on my... This is a Wi-Fi flyer, by the way. Uh, I get a warning on my Wi-Fi app that the quadcopter needed to land because it was starting to overheat. So um, keep that in mind if you fly this out in warm air, and on a warm day it will overheat and will tell you to land itself and then you gotta let it cool down before you can go fly again so it, it will automatically land itself by the way <laughs> if you give it enough time but let's go over the quadcopter um, it comes with a 4k camera with 16 gigabytes of internal storage on this quadcopter you don't need to insert an SD card is what what I'm saying folks you can download your videos either through this USB port here or you can send the video to your phone download it to your phone so that you can upload it directly your videos upload directly to YouTube or whatever or watch it right away on your phone um, notice these image sensors down here it has IR and optical image sensors so that you can either use GPS to keep it steady or use the optical sensors, mainly for indoor flying. You'd use these optical sensors where GPS would uh, not be very good, such as indoors. So this will hold steady uh, through the optical sensors. It also has altitude hold, so you know it'll hold its place in space. And it also has GPS GLONASS, you know, the Russian GLONASS system and the U.S. GPS system for uh, stabilization of the quadcopter. Going back to this camera, this 4K camera, it also has uh, optical, or it has image stabilization, electronic image stabilization. In other words, it uses software to stabilize the uh, video. Now, when you use that image stabilization, it will only, it will record in 10p mode. And the reason being, it's using that giant 4K image with lots of uh, megapixels and zooming in on a certain area there and as the image shakes on the 4k one it'll give you a, it uses the uh, remaining screen from the 1080p to uh, stabilize so it has to zoom in in other words when you use image stabilization it will zoom in let's see am i forgetting anything here um, it is brushless motors i forgot to say that uh, brushless motor quadcopter and uh, it's Wi-Fi controlled. <laughs> now, it uses either 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi or 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi if your phone has that capability. If your phone does have that capability or your tablet, I recommend you using the 5 gigahertz as it, it makes it, uh, this, the image, the video that you see from this is much more stable than you'd see from the 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, and that's mainly because of all the interference out in the world with 2.4 gigahertz. And also, finally, this has a lot of promise features that this one, the way it came out right now, it does not have. Namely, it's promised to have follow me, uh, circle me, and asymptotic mode in the future. That has not yet been incorporated into the app for this. So if you're buying this thinking this is going to be ready to go follow me, as of this date, while I'm doing this video, um, it does not have that feature yet. Um, it's supposed to be a future feature that they're going to implement into the app, an upgrade to the app, so that you will have follow me in the future, hopefully. We'll see. Okay, let's set this up and take it for a flight. Now, you can either fly with the camera facing toward you or away from you. Toward you, that is called selfie mode, and away from you, that's scenic mode. So if you want to take pictures of scenery, you can fly it with the back end toward you. Uh, I am going to fly it with the front end with the camera pointed toward me. We're, we're going to fly it in selfie mode. Uh, mainly because I want to demonstrate it as a selfie quadcopter. So I'm going to put it on the ground like so. 
And to turn on the quadcopter, I already got the Sunly app opened, but to turn on the quadcopter, you press down and hold for about five seconds. Three, four, five. And then you wait for a second beep. That shows everything has been initialized and the quadcopter is ready to go. That first beep was the ESCs. And we're waiting. Okay. Okay, so we're ready to go. So I'm going to open up the app now. And there's the app. And I'm taking my glasses off so I can see this better. <laughs> now, remember I said uh, this is 5.5G or 2.4G. I'm hitting the enter device. And it already connected because I connected it last night. Now, if you look in the upper row, we see a bunch of selections. The first one here shows a smiley face and uh, the trees. The smiley face mode means selfie mode, which is the cameras facing toward me will be the back end and the back of the quadcopter will be the front. If I want the camera facing forward, I slide this over to the tree and that would be normal mode and the front would be the camera side. But again, I want the selfie mode as shown there. Um, the second one here shows that we're in GPS mode. Uh, we could use the, uh, no, now we're in GPS mode, it shows the satellites. Um, if you want to fly using the optical system only, you slide it over to the left and notice that beam coming down from the bottom of the quadcopter. That means it would be using the optical sensors. But let's take off with optical sensors. Uh, let's start off with optical sensors first, just to show you that. Before, okay, so switching back to op optical, if it would let me. Come on, you were just over there. Okay, there we go. Optical sensors. So let's do a real quick takeoff. Uh, I'm only going to do this short for a short period of time to show you the optical sensors. So we're going to do takeoff. You hit the takeoff button, which is in the lower right corner of that airplane taking off, and then slide to the right. And I'm going to go up a little bit higher. So now it's using optical only to maintain that position in space. Um, it does it rather well, as you can see here. You know, it's looking directly down at the ground at my landing pad and maintaining its position using uh, its bottom image sensors. So now let's do a land on this. There I am in the screen. Land and slide to land. Okay, we'll make sure the ground is safe and level. And there it goes. And look where it lands <laughs> into the grass. <laughs> I don't like landing in grass, but there we go. Let's now let's switch to GPS mode. That's where we want to really demonstrate this quadcopter. And um, now, if you look in the up those green things in the upper port upper center of the screen, there you see the GPS signal is the one farthest to the left. If it's green, you're good to go. If it's yellow or red, you know, use caution. <laughs> it's not going to work right. Um, the other one shows the optical sensor, um, and your battery is the one in the center there with the A beside it. I still got a full battery, and of course there's the Wi-Fi signal strength, and your SD card uh, memory, remaining memory. I got lots of memory there. And right now, if you look in the right side, it's set to take a photo, but I want to use video. So I slide it to the right like so, and right now I am going to start the video camera, video recording. Now, I am set to 1080p uh, optical image stabilization. Notice how that zooms in automatically when I turn it off and then turn the camera on. Okay, the stabilization comes on automatically. Okay, now we are going to fly in GPS mode. I have GPS mode selected. And I'm starting the recording now. And I'm hitting takeoff mode now. And sliding to takeoff. And check it stability first before we do anything. Okay, going up a little higher. And going up a little higher until I show in a picture. And there I am. And there's a stabilized video. Um, does it actually good job actually, in my opinion, for the stabilized video. Going up a little bit higher. And then stepping back into the scene. Now again, it's using 
this large 4K image and then it's zooming in on that 4K image and keeping the picture automatically stabilized. You know, that quadcopter will be bouncing around, but um, the stabilization system uses, you know, um, computer algorithms to uh, keep a very stable image, as you see here. Okay, now let's go, right now the, the mode I got is touch control and it's just simply out and up and I'm going out a bit. And going out to about there, and then going up a little bit higher to right about there, a little bit higher until I'm into the view actually. Okay, I'm in view now. Now, there is another mode of uh, control, and that is if you hit this uh, upper right gear icon, you can select motion control. And I'm going to do that now, motion control, and then coming back out of that. Now, to activate motion control, I got to put my right thumb down on the, uh, the pad, and then I can move the quadcopter around by motioning the sensor or motioning this, the acceleration sensors in my phone. And the reason I want to do that is you can have, you know, even though this doesn't have selfie mode yet, you can have a poor man selfie mode like you can with the uh, cheap little Elfie quadcopters. <laughs> and move it around. So, in effect, you do get follow me, a cheap man, poor man's follow me mode. <laughs> That's what I call them with the, uh, the little uh, Elfie quadcopters. Okay, taking my thumb off and it should stabilize itself right in, as you see right there, where am I? There I am. <laughs> Let's do the follow me this way. <laughs> Not that as good as a real follow me would be, but it works. You got to try to gauge and where the quadcopter is and try to keep it at that position as you're walking around. <laughs> so, okay, and bringing in the quadcopter toward me. Now, there's no yaw control when you use this mode here. Oh yeah, there is, I take that back. So in effect, I can go over here now. I take that back, there is yaw control. And we'll take a walk around here. Now again, you know, this thing will fly for about eight minutes or so out here in the desert. It's about 80 degrees right now. And I'm expecting it eventually to say it's overheating. <laughs> And when it does such, I am going to land it. And then when it, you know, you'd normally, in that case, would let it cool down and, uh, you know, before you go fly again. But let's, we're pretty far away from its takeoff point. This does also have auto return to home. Now I'm going to leave it right there and I'm going to turn it toward me. And Next, I'm going to hit the auto return to home button. If you see in the lower left corner there, the return to home button, I'm hitting that right now. And it's going to go up to 10 meters, then it should fly back to its home position, hopefully, <laughs> and land itself automatically. Now, this is supposed to do the same, I believe, when it loses signal from the phone, automatically return it, return to home. Now, I'm not doing anything, folks. It's doing it itself. Let's see it do the return to home. Ah, DU recorder. Go away. Recording is finished. No way. <laughs> Why is it playing? Hold on. But there's its return to home. So, I don't know, I think we lost signal there while it was doing its return to home. That's why my D recorder shut off. So, I need to break out of this. We're going to go up again. Sunfly has stopped. We'll restart Sunfly. There. 
go away the recorder <laughs> i've got to use a different re screen recorder in the future okay starting up again recording again hitting record button for du recorder now we're going to go back up again and go back enter device connecting there we go we got and it's still recording right, let's stop that recording stop there it should stop there we go okay we got that recording um well we still got a lot of flight time on this hitting recording one more time and again doing a gps takeoff slide and again look temperature please land turn off the device again you know this <laughs> i'm only been flying out here for about eight minutes or so but i am going to land it uh land and slide and there now you know if you notice there's still a lot of battery power i could fly this you know for another eight to ten minutes and finish out the battery and then i got another battery to fly but the limiting factor seems to be that um cooldown period that's required you know um it'll fly for eight minutes and then it cools down so all in all you know right now it is this is kind of a neat little quadcopter um you know it does heat up rather easily though on warm days like today uh and it should in the future once those additional features become available namely auto follow and um circle me and asymptotic mode when those become available then yeah this this might be something really neat so hope you enjoy this first flight of my little alfie uh, self <laughs> sunly alpha quadcopter qcam 4k and this quadcopter 101 signing out